Why exactly are the gems here? How are they told about this? When the rubies arrived at the barn during barn mates, I assume they were just flying around the planet aimlessly considering how they entered. So it would make sense that the gems caught wind of their arrival there. But here, how could they have possibly known the ship was here if it just landed directly at the barn? It's not like Lapis could or would have told them, right? And honestly, if the answer is finally Garnet using future vision, that would make sense. But we'll counter that in a minute. Also, a small correction from last episode. Steven actually did have his sandals on when he came back to the barn and Earthlings. My bad. But then they disappear for the rest of the season from this shot onwards. Yada yada, advanced shadow realm, yada yada. I thought we were done with these guys. You sent them to a planet you knew was not gonna have what they want. How could you even begin to think this was over? Why did you come back here? Let's release one and just ask what they're up to. Jesus Christ, do you guys have the memory of a goldfish? They told you why they were here last time. Do you not remember somehow or do you just don't care? And this is even more egregious because this also shoots down Garnet using future vision to see them coming. If she had used it, then she would know why they're here. There's a puddle under Leggy in this shot, but in the next shot it disappears. Let's take a chance on Army. Or you could let one of the more docile ones try first? If I remember correctly, we were on Earth. Uh, ha, this is so embarrassing. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Gotta keep a prisoner for the diamonds. It's there! I gotta hold this all the way to the moon? Okay, so surely this is the point where you abandon this plan, right? Amethyst not only has to hold this form all the way to the moon, then walk up to the communicator, then she has to talk to and somehow fool the diamonds into thinking she's Jasper, which is a 100% impossible task by itself. But even if that worked, surely the diamonds wouldn't want Jasper or the prisoners to stay on Earth, right? So they'd have to be sent to Homeworld anyway, which would be catastrophic. Why do the gems not just drop this and immediately poof the rubies? They aren't a threat whatsoever, and poofing them would stop them from giving intel back to Homeworld if they managed to escape. There's literally no downsides aside from a sad look from Steven. Aw, oh, curses. I can't believe we've been caught. And by none other than Jasper. So cross over it. I'll never talk. <sighs> I wish. Yeah, <laughs> she talks a lot. Is it just me or does the earth look weird here? Because of the way the clouds are drawn, all of the ocean looks more like ice than water. Pearl has her eyes closed here and then when Amethyst starts to approach without even a hint of fear on her face. <laughs> in this shot, the earth and the moon base are positioned like this with the entrance to the base facing away from the earth. But in the next shot, the earth somehow moves in front of the entrance. The angle isn't even different. That is pink diamond. Wow, strange how the moment Pink Diamond's name leaves someone's lips for the first time, that's when we get this info that could have easily been told before. I don't know, I just think it's a bit stilted to not even acknowledge Pink Diamond's existence verbally even once before this. Like, not even a passing mention. It's like she didn't even exist before now. Maybe it's best if you explain. What, me? I'm getting very concerned with how little the gems tell Amethyst. Especially about something as important as pink diamond shattering. I get she was pretty much a child when she first joined, but at this point you'd think they would have filled her in on this fairly important shit. Steven's hand has six fingers in this shot. Birth was pink diamonds colony. Cue a solid minute of grade A exposition dumping. Christ, the pacing of Pink Diamond's introduction is a mess. First, they don't show us a single shred of information on her outside of background details you probably wouldn't notice. Then suddenly, we're unloaded with a truck full of shit that's frankly a bit overwhelming. Why couldn't they have slowly fed us all this over time and let Steven, and by extension the audience, piece things together until we came to this ultimate conclusion? I feel like that would have been a lot bigger of an impact than this dull thud of an info drop does. The stars on Amethyst's knees aren't on her in this shot. Do me a favor and go back home and file the report for me. Why exactly couldn't you have just said that from the start and saved this whole trip? Or again, even better, why not just fucking poof them so they can't report anything at all? What, did Amethyst not think to get a ride back to Earth? How do you not think of that? 
Also, why not wait to shift back to your normal form until after the rubies have left completely? You're taking an unnecessary risk by doing this. At least go upstairs out of sight. Also, also, Amethyst stars aren't on her knees here either. Also, 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 both Steven and Amethyst look squished in this shot. Hey, you need to run back to Earth? I can sit on your lap if you want. Uh, what? I'm so Jasper! Yeah! Yeah, don't stop them from fusing or anything. Take it outside! How is this a good idea? Why didn't Steven wait and see how the fight was going before doing this? For all he knew, they could have been poofed in one shot and then the problem would be solved. This is not only completely brain dead, but this also means the next episode didn't even have to happen at all. It was completely avoidable. But I guess the Crooniverse needed more artificial drama. As if learning your mom was potentially a murderer wasn't drama enough. Also, the fact that Steven wasn't immediately pulled out here is utter bullshit. Also, also, Leggy's gemstone is missing from the fusion in this shot. When Sardonyx forms here, you can barely make out that she's about the size of Yellow Diamond's mural here. But then in the next shot, she shrinks down to about Yellow Diamond's knees for some reason. Yeah, don't save Steven or anything! These guys can not only breathe in space, and they know that outer space is lethal for someone like Steven, but they have a whip, they have four different potential fusions they could use, their bodies acclimate to the moon's gravity, so that wouldn't be a problem. This conclusion is so half-assed and forced that it hurts. And the fact that this could have all been avoided by just not following this stupid plan in the first place honestly cements this as one of the most poorly written episodes of this season. Hold this all the way to the moon?